Morning, Black family. Sadat here. Got Professor Black Truth's newest moment of truth. Check it out. And this, this is, is the, the moment, moment of, of truth. truth. And now the Friday Crime Report. The last, the last Friday, Friday Crime, crime report, report that I posted dealt with a Hollywood celebrity, Zachary Ty Bryan, who has had a number of brushes and run-ins with the law. He was, he was a, a childhood star on the TV show Home Improvement. But these days, this guy's basically been famous for another reason. None of it good. Though the only crime greater than the one that he's been accused of is the white media's ignoring of this story. They've downplayed it, treated it as a one-and-done and moved on. This guy's a celebrity. He's also become independently wealthy on his own. But even so, this guy's name is associated with a big-time TV show. He is a star. Though you, you wouldn't, wouldn't know about how the white media has intentionally and deliberately been hands-off regarding his history, and he's, he's not, not the only one. one. Danny, Danny Masterson, Masterson was sentenced to 30, 30 years for raping two women. women. You probably, probably haven't heard much about this. The same, same way the white media wasn't giving us breathless coverage of his trial either. either. Now, now this, this guy, guy is a big star, star from a hit show with, with a face and a name known by millions around the world. And he's best buds with Ashton Kutcher and Mila Kunis, among others. Star power, accusations of rape. You'd think the white media would be all over this morning, noon, and night. At least if you believe what the white media says about how they operate. So their silence on this one has been deafening. And, and as some, some of you may have heard, Danny Masterson is also part of the cult, uh, I mean Church of Scientology. Scientology specializes in getting celebrities to join them. Tom Cruise is their most famous adherent, but he's far from the only big name star that they have in their congregation. Now, we were told by the likes of Kamal Dumbbell that the reason he was making such a big deal out of Bill Cosby was because the Cosby case was an example of the intersection of fame and power. Well, Scientology has God knows how many hundreds of millions in their coffers, and they're the only church that prides itself on how many celebrities they have among them. So shouldn't the white media be all over Scientology like flies on poop? They were less afraid of tackling the Catholic Church than they are Scientology. But then again, the Catholic Church is a largely faceless organization. Whenever you go out to the Catholic Church, the white media puts up images of cathedrals, not people. On the, On the other hand, hand, if you go after Scientology, Scientology, you're going to be seeing faces of white people, people particularly white male celebrities. To the, the white media, that's, that's not a good target for their cameras. cameras. They, they want, want some black faces that they can shoehorn into the mix. Danny Masterson raped two, two women and was, was accused of raping a third, and, and he was convicted for it on the very first try. Unlike with Bill Cosby, who was never charged with rape, and who the first trial ended in a hung jury, the DA had to come back and violate the law to engineer what amounted to an overblown molestation charge, which fell immediately apart on appeal. And yet the white media still lies about Bill Cosby. They use the verbiage and vocabulary as if to say that he was guilty. They use the same words. They make sure the viewer knows that they don't care about the trial having been shown to be a farce, or that the DA and the judge were proven to have violated the law, the law to manufacture a conviction, conviction against him. All, All they, they care, care about, about is he's black, black so we so gotta, gotta maintain, maintain the narrative. The narrative. Nobody's, Nobody's offering Danny Masterson multiple, multiple rape victims, victims any sort of airtime or putting them on camera to tell their stories. As, as with practically every other white sexual, sexual predator, predator that's, that's come, come to light, Lifetime hasn't made any, any surviving Danny, Danny Masterson series. series. This, this guy raped multiple, multiple women, he's a serial rapist. But not even a documentary about him. Oprah isn't talking to his victims either. And it's, and it's not, not like the white media doesn't, doesn't know who they are. Their, their names are already public. public. There, there were three women who Masterson raped. raped. He, was he was convicted, convicted of raping Jane Doe's, Doe's one and two, but the jury deadlocked on Jane Doe three. So he, so he got, got away with that one. one. But, but even, even so, Jane Doe three, three has come forward. forward. Her, Her name is Chrissy Carnell Bixler. Bixler. She, she was, was a co-star on that 70s show alongside Danny Masterson. But more than that, Bixler was Masterson's girlfriend at the time. So, so this, this isn't some thwarted model, model actress, whatever. whatever. This isn't this sour grapes here. This, this was, was someone who he had been in a relationship with. Not, not some anonymous thought. She, she was, was one, one of Danny Masterson's co-stars. And, and she was also one of his accusers. accusers. She's, She's come, come forward to say that she had been one of his victims. The white media ought to be all over that. Interviews, articles, the whole nine. But they're not. And just to show how determined the white media's bias is... Bixler, Bixler was, was also blasting Ashton Kutcher, Kutcher and his wife, Mila Kunis, both of whom Bixler worked with, because the two had sent letters of support to the court when it came time to sentence the serial rapist, Danny Masterson, their friend. 
Bixler, Bixler went, went beyond, beyond that, that, and she insinuated that Ashton Kutcher was also a sexual predator. She alluded to certain disturbing, if not incriminating, phone calls that she had overheard. This, this is who the white media is ignoring. A co-star of Danny Masterson's who's accused him of rape. I don't, I don't think, think anyone, anyone who's ever worked, worked on a show with Bill Cosby has ever accused him of anything. anything. It was, it was always, always some thought, some model actress, whatever, whatever. Some, some nobody skank who he never even met. met. But with, with Danny Masterson, you have women that he was in a relationship with. Women, women who he worked, worked with for years, accusing him of rape. rape. Whatever, whatever the white media falsely claimed about Cosby, you could truthfully say about Danny Masterson. The white, the white American, American media is pretty much ignoring this across the board, the board mostly, mostly limiting their so-called coverage to the gossip tabloid outlets. You have, you have to go to the British and Canadian, Canadian media to find actual coverage. coverage. So you, you can, can tell, just as with Daniel Penny, the New York subway killer, killer the white, white media has a news embargo out. out. They've, They've already put, put a prohibition on reporting on this one. one. The white, white media isn't rushing to put any microphones in the faces of castmates and defying them to denounce Masterson. Mila Kunis and even Ashton Kutcher had nerve to write a letter of support for him, telling the judge that he wasn't an ongoing harm to society. But they weren't alone. Deborah Jo Rope also wrote a letter of support for this convicted serial rapist, as did Kurt Woodsmith. So basically the most important members of the cast of that 70s show supported this guy. And, and this, this after he had been convicted, convicted of multiple, multiple rapes, including of a woman who they had worked, worked with, a woman that they knew. They didn't think the letters that they wrote to support this guy would ever be made public, but they were. And, and what was the result of their careers, careers after this came to light? light? Nothing. Nothing. No, no white, white media feeding frenzy. frenzy. None, None of the phony so-called activists from, from me two or times up came after any of them. No cancellations, no anything. Nobody lifted a finger to cancel them or demand they go on an apology tour. Ashton, Ashton and Mila made one blinking old missus so-called apology, that was it. The, the others who supported Masterson haven't even done, done that much. Now, now anyone, anyone who didn't attack Bill Cosby, Cosby was immediately demonized, from Felicia Rashad, Rashad to Malcolm, Malcolm Jamal Warner. Warner. They, they wanted, wanted to make it clear, if you don't attack Cosby, then the white media will attack you. Meanwhile, Ashton Kutcher and Mila Kunis are sticking up for a serial rapist, and nobody's saying boo-boo. Masterson's wife, wife Bayou, Bayou Phillips, Phillips, stood by her man during this entire sort of episode. She was never demonized, never even criticized for it. His just real wife there with him, with him and she's sticking, sticking by him, him, and that was that. that. She, she didn't, didn't get the Camille, Camille Cosby, Cosby treatment. treatment. The white, white media and all these commentators and such were saying, saying oh, how disgraceful, what the hell's wrong with her? But, but now that the sentence has been handed down, she's filed for divorce. This only days after the sentence. She stood, she stood by, by her man and all the way until the moment that he could no longer do anything for her. Now she's dumping him. The white media did everything really they could to try to pressure Camille Cosby into divorcing Bill. Bill. They, they were hoping that she would do that. That was supposed to be the final nail in the coffin. And, and they, they would have played, played that as, see, this is the proof. He has to be guilty. Even his own wife left him. him. But, but she didn't. So, so now that Bayou Phillips has left the serial rapist husband she was married to, why is the white media treating her like some sort of strong and independent woman? Why aren't they giving her the hero treatment? Oh, she walked away from the guy at last. Now they're not celebrating this one. So don't look for HBO to be doing any leaving the 70s documentaries. Come out, Dumbbell suddenly totally disinterested in the intersection of celebrity and power now. Paramount's definitely, definitely not giving money to any other talentless, zealous idiot to have them do a documentary about Danny Masterson. You have all these women from Bixler to Leah Remini saying that Scientology is a rape-happy cult, but it's being totally ignored, even after all this. In a country like the United States, it's hard to imagine a group more powerful than a church. And the main thing Scientology is known for is having celebrities who claim to follow it. Celebrity, a religious organization, and sexual assault, that's irresistible for the white media, at least it would be if it wasn't for the color of who they'd have to talk about. Mies two and times have been proven that they're nothing more than sock puppet organizations created by and promoted by white power. It was never about protecting women. It was and is all about deflecting attention from the sexual predators and putting the attention on black men instead, and ultimately containment of any claims that are not thrown out of court. See, See, right, right now, now, there, there are, are no black, black men who they can try to deflect attention on to right now. They can't, can't afford to cover the Danny Masterson conviction and sentencing at all. There's, there's no black men that they can use as a distraction. And that's, that's where we come in. we got to make sure that people know that this happened. See, See the, the reason the sexual harassment tsunami became a thing is because there's, there's a class of people in society who are immune from law and who are also in a position to use their jobs as a way to coerce sex out of people or keep them silent when they've been abused. 
Black, black men don't, don't have, have that power, power and never have. have. So, so when, when white male executives were being pointed out or driven from their jobs, at least a few of them, there began, began a plot to change, change the headlines. And, and because, because the sexual predators, predators who had been carrying out these crimes were also the same white media executives who controlled the headlines said, it was a child's play for them to decide to start deflecting attention onto any old black man whose name was even marginally known. With, With the exception of R. Kelly, Kelly all these other black men who they tried to manufacture cases against fell apart. apart. And, and speaking of falling apart, apart Tom, Tom Cruise should be on the hot seat. He's, he's the celebrity face of Scientology, at least he was for a while. But that's, that's part, part of a flimsy illusion of complexity that the white media tries to push whenever, whenever they, they themselves have been cornered on their hypocrisy. White supremacy relies on duality because it is sophisticated. So, so they'll, they'll claim that, that well, we didn't, didn't go in on Tom Cruise about all this because, because he's a big star and, and we don't, don't want to alienate him because then we won't be able to get access. But keep in mind that when Sumner, Sumner Redstone, Redstone and the Brass of Paramount got, got crossways with Tom, Tom Cruise, they damaged his image. image. They, they put, put up this tsunami of bad articles and press pieces made, made to make, make him look like he was crazy. For a while, people were saying it looked like Tom Cruise would be finished. They, they wanted, wanted to send, send a message, message. and the, the message was, was there's nobody so big or so famous, famous that they, they can't, can't be taken down, down. Not, not by the men who actually run and control the media. media. They, they were showing who was in charge. So, so the, the white media picks and chooses who they want to attack. And the media executives are not all afraid of losing access to Tom Cruise. They were the ones who made Tom Cruise a star in the first place. And as soon as Cruise is gone, they'll just invent another mega star who will do the exact same thing for them. The game has levels to it. But the, the players, players remain, remain the same, as, as is their, their goal. goal. You, don't you don't see late-night late comedians, comedians making a big deal out of Danny Masterson, and you won't. They, they didn't, didn't even do it with Harvey, Harvey Weinstein. Weinstein. When's, When's the, the last time, time you've heard any of these late-night late comedians, comedians even using that guy's, guy's name? name? They, they don't, don't even mention him. Same, same way they don't mention Woody Allen or Rowan Polanski. They only make it a punchline if it's a black man they're talking about. They only constantly bring up a celebrity's name and keep bringing it up even in places where it doesn't belong. If... They're, They're black. black. Scientology itself has been, been lampooned, lampooned, but now, now it's, it's gone from ridiculous to dangerous. What Danny Masterson did wasn't funny, funny at all, though. Scientology should be getting the same treatment as any other cult, or at least the same treatment as the Catholic Church got. But, but the white, white media can't, can't do that because there's, there's no black faces they can put in front of the cameras. No, no good, good targets. So as the black grassroots, we're going to make sure that we remind people of all these sexual predators who the white media doesn't want to talk about. Danny Masterson is in all likelihood going to prison at least for a while. Though I gotta tell you, if I was laying odds, I wouldn't be surprised at all if an appeals court reduces his sentence or throws it out altogether on the basis of some made-up technicality. It's not about guilt or innocence. It never has been. It's, it's about who the laws were written to punish and who they weren't. And the laws weren't written to punish those classified as white. So I would advise Danny Masterson's victims to comfort themselves with his sentence as long as it lasts. Though between now and then, Danny Masterson can prepare for what will surely be the most challenging role of his career. Inmate. And that's this week's Friday Crime Report. Keep your, your eyes, eyes open and stay alert, alert because, because there's, there's a lot worse criminals, criminals out there than the ones the, ones the white, white corporate, corporate media chooses to show you. Good day and be one. I'd like to take a moment to mention some of our contributors. Jacques Hargett, Sakina Collins, Nancy, Williams, and Antonio Daniels. Salute to them and thank you to everyone for listening, liking, and sharing this message. Black empowerment only exists because of you.